we're going to make a 5 inch paddle tail swim bait today. So if you guys are new to my channel, I 3D print my own fishing lures and soft plastic fishing lure molds. And then I post the files for free so you guys can make them yourselves. For today's video, we're going to do a user suggested lure. Darren Ramirez, I hope I'm saying that right, wanted a 5 inch smooth body paddle tail. So that's exactly what we're going to make today. When the lure was suggested, I think he meant those paddle tails you see in the market that have the very thin tail trunk with the really wide paddle so they have a ton of action in the tail. Most of these lures you see in the market really don't have any detail. They either have ribs and we're making a smooth body paddle tail today so that's out of the question or they're just a very boring plain body. Now I see no reason why adding a little bit of extra flair wouldn't hurt today. So we threw on a fin, we threw on a mouth and we threw on some slots for some stick on eyes anything it just wasted my time it certainly won't hurt the catching ability of this lure so with that in mind i modeled this bait out on fusion 360 on my computer and i threw a mold box around it and printed it out on my ender 6. if you guys are interested in making this lure for yourselves i'm going to post the file for free down below i design all my molds now so they can be printed on a resin or fdm printer i'll link my recommended filament and my recommended resin down in the description below. And without any further delay, let's go see this mold in action. One eternity later. All right, so we finally have our five inch paddle tail mold complete. I know it's been a while, like a really long time since my last lure video. This thing has caused me quite a few headaches and a couple second degree burns. So I really hope you guys like it. This is version four, I believe. We were, uh, we were running into some issues with the tail was the main thing. Number one, it wasn't big enough on the first couple of tries. Well, the first try really, I fixed it for the second. But the main problem was these tails weren't filling up when I was injecting this mold. And it took me a couple of tries to figure out what it was. Originally, I just thought these were too small and the plastic wasn't able to flow in there and that's why they weren't filling up. That was wrong. I also tried adding a bunch more vents. Uh, you guys aren't going to be able to see that with clear plastic on camera, but there's a lot more vent holes here than my original mold, and a lot of my molds have. That wasn't it either. I finally figured out that the actual tail, like, uh, we'll call it the trunk, the trunk of the tail was too thin. I was kind of pushing it to be as thin as possible. It's still really thin, because the thinner that tail is compared to the paddle, the more action the lure is going to have in the water. But I figured out that comes at a cost, so what happened is the mold, the plastic was going in, it was going in the lure, and it was solidifying here before it could fill up the tail, and that's why the tail wasn't filling up all the way. So I widened this out so it's got more plastic flowing in through it. It stays hotter longer, and it stays molten long enough for the plastic to fill up the tail. So this is version four, we're good to go. Now let's get ready to shoot this bad boy. For the first plastic we're using today, you can see a little preview of a couple duds I made. This is going to be what the bait's gonna look like when we're done without all that junk on it. We're injecting these with bait plastics, medium plastic salt blend with some silver flake in there as our first color. So I'm gonna heat this up and put the mold together and I'll see you guys when that's ready. All right, so we got everything ready to inject. We're gonna put our gloves on this time. You don't, don't not wear gloves, it doesn't end well. I wanna make sure this glitter is suspended. It's kinda, it kinda sinks pretty fast. 316, perfect. This new bait plastics cools down faster than the dead on plastics, so you can shoot it a little uh, little hotter than you normally would. We'll burp our injector. And we're good to go. So I'm gonna put a lot of pressure on this for a decent amount of time. Just because I wanna make sure that tail fills up full, fully. And I don't want any of that plastic to suck out of the tail when it cools down. But I held that for a really long time. I don't think it's necessary for that much, but better safe than sorry. All right, we're going to let that cool off. And I'll see you guys when we're ready to demold. All right, so this should be cooled off now enough. We'll take a look. Not bad at all. Let me clean these up. So these came out almost perfect. There is one little teeny dent in the tail. I'm pretty sure that's from when I slipped with the injector. We'll see for the next go around, but I have injected this mold before with no dents and all the cavities. 
We're going to put eyes on them. There is some flashing on here. I think that's because I shot this mold really hot the other day and it warped a little bit. So there's some gaps and causing that to flash out, but that shouldn't happen to you guys. I'm not going to print another one. Printed enough. So I'm going to put these all together at the end of the video and go over them. But for now, we're going to get into the next color. So our second color is this red with an orange pearlescent. Looks pretty nice. It should be an interesting color for a paddle tail. So I'm going to heat this up and I'm going to get the mold put back together and we'll see how it turns out. So we should be ready to go now. I had some more flake for this. Hopefully it looks a little nicer now. I'm going to put my gloves back on and we're ready to go. I don't know if you guys saw that. I know these aren't as transparent as my resin molds, but I could see the tail fill up. That was pretty cool. I think that's enough pressure. And we just want to make sure that sprue stays full. So I'm going to babysit this for a couple minutes, a couple seconds. You really don't want that sprue to go dry. That means the plastic sucking into the mold, and there's no more hot plastic to keep this uh, molten. It'll cause dents and little bubbles and stuff. And they don't look nice. All right, we should be good there. So I'm going to come back when this is ready to open up. I will crack this open and see how we did. Oh, it's tough. So not too bad at all. This new color looks pretty good. So we're going to get into mixing the third color now, and I'll show off all these baits at the end. So our plastic's all cooked now. We're going to go for like a silverish color. So that was a mine dust pearlescent. We're going to try adding some white to see if that gives it some more color. I want it to be pretty opaque. That was pretty transparent. So we'll see how it looks with the white. All right, I got this right where I want it now. So this is like a bluish silver gray. Should look pretty nice. That's what our final color wound up as. All right, I'm going to let this cool off and I'll see you guys when it's done. All right, so this is how our gray-ish lures came out. Pretty good. Those of you who have keen eyes will notice the denting in the tail again. That's my bad. You can see how they get better towards the top. I had a bunch of moisture left in the mixing cups and properly wiped them down. So there's trapped air in the back of those. You guys take your time and do it the right way. That won't happen to you. I'm just trying to get this out. I got a lot of stuff I got to work on and um, this, this lure's taking me long enough. So it's time for me to move on. This came out pretty good. I'm happy with the way the body is. I am going to modify this mold a little bit before I post it. I'm just going to move these apart a little bit and throw in new bolt holes here so there's no flashing for you guys when you make this. The only thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to clean these up to show them all off. Uh, I'm going to put some stick on eyes in here. You don't really need them. I like the way they look. I think they make the baits look a lot better. I'm not going to show it off this time in the interest of time, but all I do is take the stick on eye and a little dot of super glue and put it in the eye. These, uh, these baits take a six millimeter stick on eye. So I'm going to clean everything up, stick on those eyes, and then I'll show you guys what everything looks like when we're all done. We now have our full baggie of baits here ready to fish. I'm going to take out one of each color and show you guys how they all came out. So this was our reddish color, came out wonderful with that eye. And the, uh, the flake we put in there, we have our white with silver flake in there, also came out very nice. I apologize for the hairs on this. Like I said, I'm going to fix this mold before I upload it so you guys don't have any flashing issues. And here's the silver gray. They all came out good. I'm happy with the way it came out. So you try out this mold, go catch some fish. There's something I haven't made yet you want to see me make. Drop a comment down below and I'll make it. One of my commenters suggested this lure and I made it. So suggest your own. So that's it for this video. You guys could click away now or you could watch one of my other videos and get another awesome free lure. Thank you guys for watching.